guests. Uh, today's topic is planning and collecting the data. First of all, we should know what is data. Data is basically word of uh, data is information. For example, many of the people work in jobs for which they need to collect the data information. Now, which kind of information they have to collect? For example, companies need to collect the information from customers to see how they can improve their products or services. Or doctors and nurses need to collect the information to see how their patients are improving after taking certain medicines. Now, how they can collect the information? Let's take the example of a holiday uh, hotel. So, uh, for example, when you go on holiday, you may be asked to complete the questionnaire at the end of it. Which kind of the questionnaire? Questionnaire maybe uh, have the five to ten questions and uh, I just marked here the three questions. Question one is uh, what did you think of the hotel facilities? So if uh, they were good, then you can mark as a good. If they were average like 50-50, you can mark as an average. And if there was 100% or excellent, then you can mark as excellent. Next question is what do you think of the hotel for uh, food? It was poor or taste was good, it was tasteless or taste was excellent. So it's up to you. That was your experience. Uh, and after that, you have to fill this questionnaire. And uh, if you think the taste was excellent, so you can mark at the excellent. And what you think of the cleanliness of your room? Why they are just giving you these questionnaire? Because if the, the taste will be poor, they will talk to the chef so that they can improve their taste, right? And if the cleanliness was not fine or the room was not clean well, then they can talk to the cleaners to do their job well. And if the clean, if the room was totally clean and was good, so they can appreciate their um, cleaners for their great job. So in this way, they can collect the information, right? Now, the question is about the planning to collect the data, the how they can collect the data. So, for this purpose, we have some questions and some answers. So, for that, we have two types of the data. One is the primary data and second is secondary data. Now, the question is, what is primary data? Primary data is the information that you can collect or you already have an information or uh, already have a knowledge about that uh, information. So that is the primary data, right? So secondary data is the kind of the data that we need to collect from someone else. That can be uh, a person, that can be a book, a newspaper, a magazine or anything or internet you can search from the internet. So th there was a bo two type of the data. One was a primary, a second was a secondary data. Now let's talk about an example. So uh, the example is which ocean is the largest in the world? So for this, we are unable to do it by ourselves. So you need uh, to search from internet, you need to read from the mag magazines, you have to search from the books. So this is not a primary data, this is a secondary data because you cannot collect it by yourself. You have to do it with someone else or somewhere else. So let's uh, move uh, towards the example of primary data. Primary data is basically uh, that knowledge you all already have. So uh, the question, how many family members are vegetarian? So this is your family. You already have an idea how many of members are vegetarian or how many members are non-vegetarian there. So this is the primary data. Why this is primary data? Because you already have an idea, already have an information about your family, right? So let's take another example. For example, uh, someone asked from you how many family members uh, like cricket, uh, so you will say, uh, like, I know me and my sister like cricket and the rest of the, uh, rest of the members are like uh, badminton or football. This is your family and you have idea about your family. So this is the primary data. You can collect the data um, from your information or from your knowledge. Let's take example of the secondary data. Secondary data is uh, that, that information you need to collect from someone else. 
so for example how many people like the nestle milk so you have an idea like how many people like the nestle milk so for this purpose you have to do a survey survey when you will do a survey then you will uh, you can collect the information about it so this is the secondary data let's take another example what is the most popular make of a car in your country you haven't any idea right because you cannot collect it by yourself for this purpose you have to find this information from somewhere else such as a government records survey results or car companies records right after doing all this you can collect the data otherwise you will unable to collect this data so this kind of the data is called the secondary data now after getting the concepts of primary and secondary data or for taking uh, some examples about the primary and secondary data we will move towards the exercise of 6.1 the question 1 part a this is the simplest question you just have to uh, tell the uh, units here so let's move towards the question if you were doing a survey which units shown on the right would you use to measure okay this is the question statement like the first part is the time it takes to for a person to run 100 meter for example if someone will run for 100 meter we know the 100 meter is equal to 0.1 kilometer so this will be in some seconds now so the question uh, one part b is the distance a person can cycle in one hour so for one hour distance we have to measure that can be a kilometer right now if now this part say as the length of a time a person sleeps at night we sleep for hours and some minutes so there are the hours so we will just mention hours here now the last past a part is the part d the length of a person's thumbnail thumbnail you can measure the length of your thumbnail that can be some millimeter right so we will, they has given some millimeter, uh, millimeter here so we will just measure in the millimeter so that's all for this so in the next part we will do some questions about um uh, finding either this is a primary data or this is a secondary data